The reality of losing a loved one regardless of age hits deeper than any wound could cause. However, the thought of a life well lived heals every wound in no time as it is worth celebrating. This was the case with the Ogunjabi's family as loved ones, family and friends gathered to celebrate the life of their father, Pa William Shegun Ogunjabi. Pa William Shegu Ogunjobi was born in Ajede Ekiti in 1946 and started his elementary education there. He later left Ajede to Ibadan in search of greener pastures. He found himself in Lagos afterwards with the help of his elder sister, late Mrs. Dokas Olufunleye Anake, where he proceeded with his education till he acquired a national certificate in education. He got employed with the Lagos State Ministry of Education State University Education Board and retired as a head teacher after 35 years of meritorious service. Indeed, Pa Williams in his lifetime was an educationist to the core. He was loved so dearly by all. He was no doubt a man of virtue and a lover of people. The burial event started with interment at Badagri at the Ogunjabi's family house, where family and friends gathered to bury the septuagenarian. After the interment, the reception followed at Icon Center Amuwa Odofi, where friends and family gathered to celebrate with the family. In a grand entrance was the son of the septuagenarian, Tolulokwe Ogunjobi, TVC Communications business editor, as he danced into the hall joyfully with his own family, colleagues and friends, celebrating a life well lived by his father, Pa Williams Shegu Ogunjobi. <laughs> There was enough to eat and drink as friends and family danced with glee to the music coming from the live band. William Shegu Ogunjobi was a good man and very considerate and accommodating family. He was described as the best man on the street, a good Christian and a peace-loving man who raised his only child, Tolu, to the admiration of all. There is no doubt the relationship between father and son was a love-filled one. I'm excited. I'm burying my father. First, that my father is not burying me. I'm burying him. I think that is something I should thank God for. And, um, well, it's been exciting, traumatizing, stressful, but now it shows that it's another step in my life and I have to move on as a man. So I, I've done the needful. I pray to God to take his soul and let him be where saints would be. That's my wish. He has impacted me positively all my life. He's my father. I spent all my life with him, 40 years of my life. I know what it means. Um, uh, family and friends, he has, he's a man that family stop on his list, whatever he does. And I've taken that from him. That's what I do too. I try my best to make sure my family is doing well before any other thing. So I just pray that God grants his soul eternal rest. This is what celebrating. We've, we've, I've known him for many years now, more than 10 years. He's been a wonderful man. As in, I remember when he comes to my house every Christmas, how he's always lively. The kids are always happy, happy to have him around. We're going to miss him a lot because, you know, we always love spending time with him. And it's worth celebrating. It's worth every, everything we do today is worth it because he was a good man. Many describe the deceased as a man with a pleasant and amiable character who always stand for the truth and one who you could always share your problems with. He was indeed a good man. My uncle was a, a very good person. Um, 
an amiable person, very jovial. If you are with my uncle, you will continue to laugh and laugh and laugh. There is no dull moment with my uncle. He was such a very lovely man. And I'm afraid we are going to miss him. Daddy lived an excellent life. This is a peace-loving man. This is a man that, instead of anything that will cause trouble between you and him, he will allow you to take it all. He lived a very, a very good life. He's a very good Christian. If you, had it been that you met Paogun Jobi and the wife, you know what husband and wife is. That husband and wife of the Bible, daddy lived it. Loved his wife till death. And daddy was a, a, a Christian till death. When we are celebrating our brother in Christ, we are celebrating our brother in Christ. We worship together, you know, in the same church. And uh, he was a very, very pleasant person, an amiable character, you know. And uh, we move on so very well together. It's a pity God has called him, and God, him, you know, God loved him best. There is nothing we can do. Everybody will die one day. So it is his time now. It will be somebody's time tomorrow. Pa Ogunjobi lived an exemplary life that is worth emulating, and his legacy will forever be upheld.